Hello Spartans, hello and welcome back to part 5 of the RDI campaign for Tuttle War, Rome 2. And we continue today where we left off. Now we've taken Sigurdun, Sigurdun, what the hell, Singundun, if I'm pronouncing that right. We took that last, last episode. Uh, it wasn't my finest hour, I'm sure you guys will remember the ballista I had completely decimated about five of my, 500 of my men in one foul sweep, it was horrendous. It's, it's, it wasn't my finest hour, so I could only get better. Um, I can obviously can't get any worse really. So yeah, the only way is up and hopefully I'll redeem myself in episode 5 today. Um, and yeah, we took it from the Skodorsky here. Now the Skodorsky have got an army, the Torment, just outside of the city there, which are now in force march. Uh, it would be great to be able to attack them there. But obviously, the problem is, with our units being so uh, heavily, um, badly wounded, obviously with our men that we've lost in that battle, probably because of my ballista, um, we can't really afford to attack them, even though it would be great to do so uh, and take them out there. Um, but yes, we should hold strong here, and no doubt they'll, they'll siege us at some point uh, in the next couple of turns there. Um, the Dalminium, city of Dalminium has been taken, unfortunately that was our city. It has fallen to the Skodorsi again, so uh, I suspect, however, they're going to attack me at Ida in this turn end turn phase. I don't know why, I've got a feeling they're going to attack me at Ida. And if they do so, obviously we're going to have to defend with the Thieves and the Knights strongly. If we can take them out, if we can take them out, um, it will be amazing. Because obviously then with, with, with us being able to take them out and destroy them there, um, we, that will give us the opportunity to then move in and take hopefully Dalminium back um, at some point in the next couple of turns, I should hope, if they commit obviously all their forces to me at Ida. Um, so there we go, that's the situation there. We've obviously got the city of Abidimos over here as well, and we've got uh, Sagestica up here. Now, let's have a quick look at the situation before I started the recording. And Noria, up here, the Nori, looks like they're under siege. They've got two turns remaining before surrender. So it looks like, I don't know if it's these guys, the uh, Avevici, who are attacking them. They aren't happy with me, so if they take that city as well, it could, be, it could spell trouble for me in the north up here. So I'm going to have to be very careful about what happens there. And how it plays out at uh, at Sagesica and, and obviously if we do get attacked in the north there, so I'm gonna have to be wary of that. And if you move south, I can't believe this. Carthage have now taken Apollonia down here, maybe from the as it probably from Epirus, maybe. Let's have a quick look and see if they're actually who they're at war with. Uh it must have been Epirus because they're not at war with them anymore, and I know Epirus have been defeated now. So um, no that's no sorry, uh, wrong the it, I'm looking at them then. That's us. So over here, um, yeah, same situation though. They haven't. They're not at war with anyone else like Sparta and Athens. So it must have been Epirus that they, they took it from. So at some point, we're going to have to uh, attack Carthage as we look to um, to push south into into parts of Greece. As that's what we were planning to do, going to Athens and Sparta, take the Greek states here, and go uh, that way. Um, and as well as say the Australian Kingdom are at war with us now, unbelievably they declared war on us as they look to push on their empire. That we're at their borders now, so we're next on their menu. Hopefully we can, I'm sure we can repel them back eventually. They've they've tried to take parts of Thracia. They've got Navasos. They've already got obviously um, Odysseus, their main city there. Uh, they haven't taken Anthea yet. They're not at war with Attilus yet, but they could do as they'll probably look to unify the province of Thracia for their own uh, as they look to expand. So if we can try and push them back over here and expand our borders east and possibly then northeast into Pontus that area that would be an ideal position and obviously go south into Carthage and north into the Veneti um, faction of Patavium up here uh, attacking these and these will obviously obviously help me immensely with my reputation and diplomacy rating with Italy and, and, and Rome well, not Italy a bit too early for Italy yet sorry with Rome um, and obviously they will that will help massively to um, build relations with them um, that not to say that I won't be attacking them because I will be attacking them at definitely at one point but obviously I've got to be in a lot stronger position before I can take on the Roman Empire um, or Republic in this case but yeah I need to be in a lot stronger position before I can attack them um, the day I see the fall of Rome and the sacking of Rome, Rome by the RDI will be a very fine day indeed I'm sure you guys will enjoy it when you see it as well so that will definitely happen but obviously that's going to be a lot further down the line before we do that uh, but yes, we shall uh, hopefully uh, expand in those uh, directions. So that's the idea, guys. 
Now, I was a little bit concerned. 32 gold per turn is quite alarming, if you guys, I'm sure, would agree. And that was because, thankfully, someone did point out in episode 4, so I thank you for that. My province wasn't taxed, so 526 is a little bit easier on the eye than 32 gold. So, uh, thank you very much for pointing that out, as I would never have realised that. Obviously, you play so many Let's Plays all the time, you know, you do lose count of what things are going on in which Let's Plays. So, thank you very much for pointing that out. It did... Um, it's always it's massively helped definitely so thank you very much indeed um okay so guys there we go so let's just be first research i'm going to research in infantry tactics because again obviously we want to try and keep money down um or money cost down but income um higher so that will help us with recruitment costs and upkeep costs um in the next few turns when that fair that is research so that will help us as well massively and um, as well, let's try and get some trade because obviously that will be important to us as well. Now Athens obviously are already, you can see here, unfriendly towards us. Not a problem. We are going to be attacking them at some point, so I'm not really interested with them. The Biffy, we all know about the Biffy with us in our Sparta campaign. The bloody Biffy. So let's see if they can help me here. Ah, so they will accept non-aggression, which is good. Obviously, we don't, we don't want you all. We don't shut up. We don't want to declare war against them at the moment, um, as they're on our border. We've got enough to be worrying about. Look at the Aravacha here. They are, as they are friendly with us. So they're hostile, in fact. I oh, know that's against them. Are they hostile with us? Yeah, they're unfriendly with us. Um, so, really, we don't want to um, be drawn to a war against them at the moment, especially if they're taking out the Nori up here. Um, so we'll just leave that at the moment with, with those those three to deal with themselves basically on our borders. Um, Carthage would again, we don't really want to declare war with them um, or trade with them at the moment, so we'll leave them Greetings. be. The Biffy, would you take trade with me? No, you won't. Okay. Um, as I say, we're hostile, we're unfriendly with them. The Etruscan Greetings. League? No. It's probably won't do trade either. We know you won't do trade. Gnosis, what about I you guys? Well, that's good. I'm glad you're listening. You could listen to trade. You will indeed. Wonderful. So we've got a trade route with them down in the southern Greek Isles there. Macedon, well, they're utterly useless now. They're on their own. They're literally homeless. The great Macedonian Empire has now crumbled to dust and they're on their own with a single fleet in the sea there. So they're literally on their last leg, so we don't need to talk, talk to them. Even though they are, they are our defensive allies, it is probably a waste of time that they are so... So let's just, in fact, insult them more by declaring the end of the defensive alliance with them, which will no doubt annoy them. Yeah, well, I'm not really concerned about you, so you can go and die in the sea there. Nori, um, non-aggression. It would be, even though you are being attacked, no. Rome. Oh, well, good. I'm glad to hear. No, you're not even interested at the moment, so hopefully if we build relations by attacking these two... That will help us with our relations with Rome. Until this war, we don't really want to be having war against you, so... No, damn it. No, I don't want you to declare war, mate, at all. And the Veneti, all we know about them, we're going to be t declaring war against them soon, so we won't even talk to them at all. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I say, I am concerned about what these guys are going to do next turn. So I think they're going to attack me at Ida. Now, we can't recruit anyone because if we recruit someone, uh, they won't be recruited in time if they attack me during this end turn phase. So what we need to do instead is probably recruit mercenaries, in fact. So before we do that, let's just actually hire another general just to try and bolster the, bolster the, the units here. So who's going, to, who's going to have a better one? Morale. This one, look at this, inspire second wind. Yeah, um, even though he's got those penalties of 25% damage. <sighs> oh, no, we, we need that. Yeah, we do need that. So let's raise an army instead. And let's see what the best one would be to bring to the battlefield today. We really, only, really want to get a mixture of melee attack and melee defense, really. Uh, these guys are very good. Noble Spearmen, melee attack and melee defense are very strong. Just try and hold the lines a little bit more if they can. So we'll go for that one. So that's that's recruited that general into the army. So that the Fury, I like that. Um, so they're there. Now let's just try and hire some mercenaries at the same time. So 
we want to get a somewhat cavalry, just a couple of cavalry units, and then a couple of. Is it coastal levies will be better, or these guys? The raiders, would they? Right, okay. Okay, now, obviously, it is alarming the fact that 934 is now the predicted income for next turn. Let's just upgrade you a second. But don't worry, this, these will be used and then fired immediately once we've hopefully defended the city. But I need to do it, I need to do it, because obviously I think, you know, they're going to attack me here and we need to defend the city at all costs. And if we can do so, you know, then we can hit the Arminium, take it back and then unify this province, which will be a massive, massive push back against them. So let's end the turn and see what happens. We are on the verge of bankruptcy, okay, fair enough. Let's just go for this one. Sometimes fortune favours the bold, as they always say. Let's see if we can do it. See what we can do. But look at Carthage. You're in an ideal position now to attack Rome and that coastline over here. So uh, it'd be interesting to see if Carthage push into Rome via Apollina. That'd be interesting indeed. Oh dear. Oh dear. What we feared. Oh dear God. The. Australian Kingdom are pushing their units forward now to attack me. We are in a bit of bother. We are in a bit of bother indeed. And here we go. That's what we thought. What we thought. But they've only attacked with one unit now. One army. So that is interesting. That is very interesting. I thought they'd have used the old, the old push forward and then attack with the... Um, you attack with the main army and then reinforce with the remainder, but obviously they want to leave them back at uh, Darminion. Dude. We'll attack this one, we'll fight it. Let's see if we can win it. Take out their main army and then push on. Push forward against them at Darminion and take out the remainder of their forces. And obviously then we need to then straight away turn our attention to uh, the Astadian Kingdom, which are on our doorstep as well. And I am fearing the worst against them. I really am fearing the worst against them. Okay, things are troubled, troubled times for the RDI, but I think this could be the turning point. I've got a feeling it could be the turning point today. So let's see what we can do. The Fury are here. The RDI with the Fury are in for an epic time, epic battle. So let's see what we can do. And it looks like, are we sallied out, have we? Do we sally out then? Oh, oh, right, okay, they've attacked the right, okay, they've attacked the Fury in the field, and then um, it's obviously drawing our reinforcements, etc. Okay, right, no problem. So I thought you were attacking the city then. Right, bring these guys back then. Where are reinforcements coming from? Our reinforcements have arrived. Okay, great. Right, okie dokie. So let's start getting these all lined up and ready to position ourselves for the defensive uh, stance here we're going to have to do. Get everyone, put, get, everyone, get, get everyone in to the battle first and then we'll start making our our moves. I'll do it now quickly, point of fast forward. Everyone here, yeah? Everyone arrived at the party? Yes, I think they have. Right, okie dokie. So, alien spearmen, swordsmen. Who are our best defenders? These are not bad, actually. So, okay, they're coming across. So, let's get these guys across here with some melee defenders as well over here. So, some tribesmen who have got high melee defense. So, put them across over here. And while we're doing that, we'll get the cavalry positioned out on the flanks over there. Hide in the trees in that area there. So they can start to uh, position themselves ready for the flank. Which will no doubt happen. Okay, so who's moving across here? Tries, man! They know what's at stake today. They always do. And today is the day that the RDI shall prosper. Okay, swordsmen. Get these guys over here. Swords! Just angling them to the right ever so slightly as well. 
Oh, the music's changed. Is someone firing? Yeah, the blisters are firing. Don't, yeah, hold your fire, man. Come down over here. Okay. So we'll bring you guys on the right side here just to secure that little box area here. Three. How far? They're quite close now. Oh, God. And here comes our general as well. Put him over here. Got these slingers and javelin men. Just round about here. In fact, we'll bring them there and bring the blisters ever so slightly back again. There we go. So it's all in the hands of the gods now. Hopefully we can... Oh, hello. You weren't selected, you naughty people trying to avoid battle, were you? You naughty raiders. We'll bring you over there. So it looks like they're going to funnel themselves in to this here area, maybe. It all depends on what they're going to try and do. They're bringing out their light horse. Are they spotted my cavalry going in the distance over there? Maybe. That may be. As far as you and I are concerned, they're on the moon. As Napoleon once said about the Prussians at battle at the Battle of Waterloo. Okay, bring them back here slightly. I don't know if that was a quote by him, but I know it's obviously it's in the film. And if you haven't ever seen the film Battle of Waterloo, it's amazing. It's a great, great film. I highly recommend it to you. It's wonderful. Just you know, I think I think they actually used for the for the actual cast half of the Russian army for that for that um, film, and that's when you know that's <laughs> that's serious stuff, isn't it? When you know they're using half of the Russian army as as um, you know extras men for the battle, obviously itself. That is pretty impressive stuff, isn't it? Okay, ballistas are already informing up. Take your time. Don't rush yet. They're not attacking us at this moment in time. So put you into group four while we're waiting. Looks like they're lining themselves up for a full-on double-line attack against us. So they've pushed their light horse across to protect that left flank. Cleverly, nicely. Slingers are going to form up the front ranks. And then a spear unit's in the rear. I tell you what, the AI is getting better. It's getting a lot better. I'm looking forward to patch 14 as well to see what the uh, the CA team bring to the, the battle. Or bring to the actual game itself and the, the, and the AI. I'm, I'm seeing a lot of improvements so far. I really am. Now, here's a bit of a shout-out for you. Here's a bit of a shout-out for you. Viking Blonde... Is it 76? Viking Blonde 76 is Will from CA. Will Overguard. So, oh hello. They've already spotted my cavalry, have they? Right, get in there. Will Overguard from CA, yeah. Great guy. Really, really enthusiastic guy. You know, he's on the Rally Point videos. You, you guys all know him anyways. He's, he's a big figure in Total War. A uh, bit of a shout out for him because he's got his own YouTube channel as well. He doesn't. He, he didn't, he's, uh, he's not a massive channel because obviously he, he's got his full time job with CA but he does do a lot of videos um, from time to time so give him some support, go and check him out link to his channel is in the description below so yeah, go and check him out he does a few Dark Souls videos and things like that uh, what I think, he, does, he, does, he does another video as well, I can't remember but he does. A, he say he's got a quite good selection on there of little Let's Plays and fun videos he's done with other guys from the team so yeah, go check him out, he's uh, He's got some good content, so yeah. Always worth a, a gander. So yeah, Viking Blonde 76, I think it is. I, can't, I know it's Viking Blonde, but I can't remember the exact number. Okay, Levy Freeman have been pushed across now to engage with our cavalry. So we'll just push them out just so they can uh, protect themselves against the cav. Against their units, sorry, their skirmish units. They haven't actually taken anyone down yet. Our, our units are intact, which is good. Our ballistas, they have now positioned themselves ready, so we're getting them on explosive rounds. They are starting to bring the formation to us now, the double rank line. So it's how long we can hold, really. If we can hold. If we can, we've, we're going to be okay. If we can't, we're in big trouble. What the hell's happening here? Form up, man. Form up. 
Do not stay like that, else we're going to have a very quick battle on our hands. There we go. Right, look at him. They're pushing out, trying to cleverly draw out our men. So let's play cat and mouse. Let's 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 play around with them if they want to do so. We'll take that's four. That's five units they've taken off their main attack over here. So if we carry on with our cavalry doing that, and I'm happy with that. I'm happy to lure them out of the battle. While well, they may take their main force across. Double right lines there, looking pretty impressive. Should be in range in a minute of our ballista. So got to cut across the battlefield. Where are our skirmish machines? They're already, they've already got themselves on quick reload. Excellent. Oh, the men are nervous. I'm nervous, I can tell you that. This could be the turning point in the whole of this campaign today. This could be the time when we push on and make our stand. Okay. Right, go over here. I want you to start getting yourselves ready to charge in the rear of these guys. While these continue to ch play chase to me. Look at them. They must be absolutely shattered now. Come over here, come on. Right, ballistas, okay, great. We've got some firing going on now. Oh, great shot. In fact, where's the general? Is he has he been moved, moved over there? No, he hasn't. Where is the general then? Oh he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. Right. All fire on the Yo know, Swarm, please. I'm happy that they're nicely walking towards me. That gives me a lot more time to fire with my ballistas. I'll just group them into group uh, 5 just so they're out of the way and our cavalry will put them to group 6 so they're nice and uh, selected there our hidden units have been discovered. oh I'm okay with that I'm okay with that oh fantastic oh what a shot what an absolute beauty of a shot dear god that's what you want to see guys that is what you want to see Mark, I'm absolutely fine with it. Don't worry, my friend. Don't trouble yourself with that. If they find my hidden units, I'm happy with that. Slingers, Slingers get yourselves ready, ladies and gentlemen. No, sorry, not ladies. There's no ladies, unfortunately, in this battle. Sometimes when ladies get angry, I would want them in my army, I tell you. They can get pretty nasty. So, yeah, any lady who wants to fight in the RDI can fight for me, I tell you, any day of the week. But, unfortunately, today, we've only got men. Slingers, come on! Right, hold back a sec. Do what are you doing? What are you doing, man? Get back in line. Cleverly, they're going for my left flank, maybe here. Right, bring my general forward. In fact, do we know? We don't commit him. Don't commit him yet, because we run the risk of us getting really in trouble there too quickly. Now they've brought across already cleverly again the AI of, well maybe not for me, maybe not for them actually, they could have, may have committed too much, but what I'm going to do, they brought four of them units out again to engage my cavalry, again four units less to worry about on the main line here. So let's bring our cross our men here to uh, engage. Ballistas keep going for that bloody O sworn unit. Illyrians and Didi. Um, don't get boxed in here, guys. We don't want to have any problems over here. If you just get you to... Ooh, I'm worried about getting, they're getting trapped in now. They're getting boxed in. Go down there. Go down the line. Get, try and go to the middle of them. Right, those sworn are still being attacked by our ballistas wonderfully. Right, the cavalry doing is still intact. God, is this general needed dead yet? 103 left. 
Come on. Oh no. That's the uh, the blisters on the last last throw of the dice now. Oh god, right, okay. It's time to take down our men actually. So I need to push in the thing a little bit. Chaotic engage now, come on. Commit now, I think. Missiles, group missiles behind. Careful, are you still intact? You are, wonderful. Give it quite a quick charge on the left flank here. Okay, we're pushing in now. Take the general out, engage on him, engage on him. Right, lovely, we attack that left flank of those slingers. Right, push in. Hit these guys. Careful, you get yourselves ready to withdraw in a second. Get out of there. No, not the bloody raiders. You stay in. You stay in the battle, my friends. Slingers, come forward, javelin as well. Get them and intimidate against them. Use the whip as well against them on themselves. Sorry. Cavalry to push out a little bit to the left hand side. Right, push in on the rear of them now, give them a rapid advance as well. Okay. Wonderfully, they're going down now. So push against these guys. How is the OS1? They're being surrounded here. Come on, seriously, they've got to go. General's got to go. Right, charge him now in the back. Give him everything. In fact, let's ride with him. Let's ride with him now into the battle. I want to see this firsthand. They'll start to charge in a second, I'm sure. Come on. For the people indeed. For the people of the RDI and the great empire this will be soon. Right, they've gone in. Who's wavering? Can't really risk it any longer. Right, okay, great. Fantastic. Push on, push on. Reform the line. Slingers go behind. Gotta press the wrong button then. Right, great stuff. Bring them back out again. Wavering is now flowing through the Skodorsky army. Wonderful. Come on! This is our time! Our time to shine, baby. Come on. Get over there. Flank him. Push forward again. Keep pushing against those units over there. Right, Cavalry doing a nice job. Moving behind them now. Whatever you do, do not get it turn do not get so you do not get tangled up with those levy freemen at all. Go for these guys. Right, pushing them out nicely, wonderful. Cavalry are gonna go for those over there so we can get these sight slingers instead. Now push on against these freemen. They've wavered. Don't know where the general has gone. I think he died. I don't know if he died or not, actually. But they've all wavered. Oh, we're not finishing yet. We need to take as many as we can out because we don't want them to retreat and fight another day. We want to take them down now. So, come on, sweep them up. At least we've won the battle, which is fantastic. We've kept everyone uh, alive as well. Awesome. Um, this unit, you go over there, please. This uh, Stagos Lancer is going to try and take them down. Problem is, a lot of these units have actually uh, wavered and are going to going to be able to retreat. So we need to push on as well as we can to make sure we take as many of these men down with us. No Stagos Lancers, you go over here, please. You go over here. Okay, let's fast forward just for a second. 
Okay, great stuff. These are all being mopped up nicely now. Our hidden units have been discovered. I, Mark, it's not a problem, mate. It really isn't. We've we've won the battle. Our Don't worry about it. Oh, you've got a bit of a thing about this now, haven't you? Take him down, come on. Let one of, none of them escape. Come on. I need every single one of them if I can destroyed. But yeah, we did well there. We didn't do too bad at all. We didn't do too bad at all. We were quite aggressive against them, which is the main thing. We had to be. We couldn't let them we couldn't sit there and take the uh, the firepower that they had with all those skirmish units. That's what would have been literally curtains for us. So I think we've done okay there. And close victory. As Alex Ram would say, bullshit. I think that's a bit bullshit there. I think we didn't I think I think we did quite well against them there, considering. But, uh, right, okay, I've made a mess of it. I don't think I have today, Claudius. I think I've done okay there. But it was a victory which was needed. And hopefully this is going to open the door against the, uh, against the Skodorsky. And kill the captives. Oh, yes, we do. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, okay. Okay, they're taking me down at <coughs> Epidemos, are they? Right, okie dokie. Ooh. This could be an interesting play. I think we're going to have to fight this one, guys, because... Ooh, do we, do we, do we? You see, you're going to have to, aren't we? Because it really is a case of... Their, their army isn't that strong. It's just if, if my tribesmen hold out. If my tribesmen hold out, we've got a chance. We've got, they've got two units of blisters, so... It's going to be touch and go, but I'll leave that with you guys for next episode. We've come to the half an hour mark now for episode five, so it's on a knife edge, guys. Hopefully this is, as I say, the uh, the beginning of a new dawn for us, I hope, anyway. I hope you've enjoyed episode five, as always, anyway. Um, always remember to comment and subscribe. Check me up on Facebook and Twitter for my latest channel updates. Also, link in the description to go on to subscribe to my email notification. So every time I upload a new video onto the channel, you'll immediately get a notification by email uh, of that. So, yes, do check that out if you haven't done so already. Thanks, for guys, for watching, and I shall look forward to seeing you all again for the sixth episode, which will be coming very soon. But until then, this is Warrior Spotted for now, saying goodbye. Ciao.